Hello, Ash. I'm really delighted to be with you today. Thanks for chatting with me. I'm so happy to have you. And it's, your story is so inspiring. Uh, and the mode of change you have done with the sales is really interesting. So tell us to start with uh, more about you and give us the glance of sales. Yeah, you know, I have a fundamental belief, Ash, that people, um, when they're happy on the inside, when they're being more themselves, they actually are able to achieve more sales. So you know, nobody can sell effectively when they're uncomfortable on the inside. And the thing for me is, and it's not just business owners, startups, entrepreneurs, also salespeople and sales leaders also have some challenges. You know, we're human beings and we're holistic beings. So if you have any kind of negative thinking or negative association about sales or a certain aspect of sales, then how can you possibly shine as your very best self? So my philosophy is helping people to feel really comfortable in their own skin, giving them some tools, but actually enabling their own gorgeousness to shine so that it's easier for the people that are naturally going to buy from them to find them because sales isn't about imposing an offer onto somebody and convincing that person to buy in fact that's not sales at all it's more about facilitating the people that really are interested in you already to make it really super easy for them for them to get to know you like you trust you and think yes you're the person that I want to work with so Lee, you know that uh, our participants are aspiring to be entrepreneurs and they are in different stages of entrepreneurs. What would you like to say to them when it comes to sales? I would say that wherever you are on your journey, whether you're right at the very beginning or a little bit further along, there's only one thing to focus on, and that is that every single day you learn from that day so that the next day you can be a better version of yourself. You know, it's hopelessly negative to compare yourself to other people because you may be on chapter two of your journey and other people may be on chapter 22 of their journey. So, Never compare yourself to others, only to the you of yesterday. And even if you are just moving a tiny bit closer to where your destination is, your goal, you're still going in the right direction. And you can only do that if you learn from what you do. So at the end of every day, ask yourself, what will I do differently tomorrow as a result of everything that's happened today? And that ensures that you are continually growing, continually moving towards your goal. And it doesn't matter how slow or how fast, as long as you are always progressing a little bit every day. In the webinar, I'm going to share with you some concepts, not scripts or anything rigid, more like frameworks that you can say, okay, this is how I would do that. And on the webinar, we'll be exploring. I'll give you some ideas. I might say, this is how I might do it. This is how some of my other clients use it. What would work for you? What would feel natural for you? Because it's mo more important that you are comfortable you may not be comfortable doing something new. Nobody is. <laughs> Nobody is. Um, but you need to be comfortable enough to go, I can take that first step. You haven't got to be comfortable for the whole journey, just the next step. So you take one step, then you assess how that went. And then you think, okay, so what's going to be my next step? 
then you get the confidence for the next step. Then when you assess it, that gives you the confidence for the next step. So even if you think you know how something's going to unfold, I can share with you now, even someone that's been in sales as long as me, you never know how things are going to unfold because it involves other people and you can't control other people. You just have to re re react and respond to what they choose to say or do. I'm really excited. I love working with people who, are, who want to learn and want to grow. So if you want to learn and you want to grow, then we're all going to have a great time. To see the sales so naturally growing, you know, what makes the profit at the end of the day. So I'm really motivated to be part of this program and your module. Tell us what's your motivation and what drives you to involve with PWN and the VP? What really drives me to support the amazing work that PWN do in supporting people that want to go down the entrepreneurial route, that want to start a business, is that for me, small business is like the backbone of any economy. Without small businesses, the world would be a very dull place. The reason that people start their small business is because they're really passionate. They have a skill that or a a passion that they want to share with the world and if I can support people to step into that space to feel confident in their own skin to speak out about the wonderfulness of themselves and attract the audience that are all out there waiting for what you do but they can't find you unless you learn to speak out and share the wonderful things that you do that you offer so the reason I am motivated to do that is the passion that every individual feels the courage that they step away from the safety of a job 